Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pablito Garcia, Garcia with a Z. This is the continuation of a previous video that I posted about four weeks ago. I skipped this four weeks because we were having a very, very warm weather. It was about 34, 35, 36 degrees almost daily in Berlin. So it's very, very warm and I was just wasn't feeling like creating crafts and sweating. So with that being said, this is the continuation. I hope you guys like it and I'm gonna be trying to post again more regularly. And if you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like and follow me on Instagram at Garcia, home Garcia with a Z. And yeah, let's get on to the video. I hope you guys like it. Let's start our third and last project for this lamp. I actually forgot to press the record button when I started doing this project. So now I'm showing you on your right side what you're gonna need for this project. You're gonna need a laundry picks basket, some raffia, a lamp cord, I actually got this one on Ikea, and also an Ikea shelf bracket. Now you're gonna start by covering the top of the basket with some raffia. So you just take a strain of raffia and go in and out from the outer to the inner and so on until you cover the whole surface. Once you've reached the end of your raffia, don't worry, just tie the next one and continue wrapping around. And also don't worry about the knot, we're gonna cover this not by going over and over and over and in and out until we're finished with the whole top. Once you're done covering the top, just Glue the rest down. Now we're gonna move on to the side. I decided to just cut my raffia strings to the length of these bars on the side. What would you call those parts? Anyway, that's what I decided to do and I'm gonna show you how I did it next. Now that we're done gluing the side of the basket, we're gonna go back in with our glue gun and make everything look more high-end. So you're gonna grab a thick piece of raffia and you're gonna glue it around your basket. Once you're done gluing everything down, just go back in with an X-Acto knife and cut the excess. Try to make it as clean cut as possible. For our next step, we're gonna create a braid like the ones we created on the previous video. And it's a very basic three strains braid. Once you're done creating the braid, you're gonna glue it down. Since for the next step I need around three and a half meters of braids, I spent a whole night braiding. Let's see, I 
elements in without compromising my design too badly. I think we will be able to come to confidence if I'm really honest with you. Okay, now back to the video. Since this is still a basket, now what we're gonna do is cut off the handle. What we're gonna do next is with the three and a half meters of braids that we created, we're gonna follow the same steps we did on the top part. Properly be able to begin the step, you're gonna need to secure your raffia strain to the lamp. So you're gonna tie it down, uh, making sure that the knot is facing the inner side of your lamp. And then just start wrapping around the middle section of your lamp. This is what it should look like once you're done. Now, with the rest of the raffia, what we're gonna do is put a little glue on the inside of the lamp and glue the rest down and cut the excess. For the lower part, you're gonna do the exact same thing we just did. Just wrap the whole thing up. Now we're gonna create a hole where the cable's gonna go through. Grab your scissors or, like me, this jewelry cutting tool. Since the hole we created ended up being a little too big, it's gonna need a little help. So you're gonna trace the circumference of the cable and create a donut-like piece to put inside the lamp. Now before you insert the cable, you're gonna put the donut we just created on the inside part of our shade or lamp and that's pretty much it. To secure everything down. This project ended up being a lot of wrapping, so the next thing we do is we grab our bracket and we wrap it around with our cable. So there you have it. This was the last project of our Beach House Vibes video and I hope you guys liked it. This took a lot of time. I can't wait to see your recreations. If you recreate this project, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Garcia Home Garcia with a Z. I hope you guys have an amazing day and stay creative.